City Quietie here, bringing this week's home connection right to your door. Hey John, did you ever have a pet growing up? Yes, I had a dog. Oh, and did your dog ever talk? No, I don't think I've ever heard an animal talk. Well, me neither, but you know in this week's lesson, Balaam and Balak, there was an animal that talked. Do you guys remember which one? If you said donkey, you're right. Man, if I could pick any Bible story to travel into, it might be this one. I mean, how cool would it be to hear a donkey talk? And as a bonus, you even get to see an angel. Yeah, I think I might pick this one too. But I would rather be a fly on the wall and not be Balaam in this one. Can you imagine the king sending you to curse a whole group of people and then you had to use a donkey that ran off the road and then ran into a wall and then simply crouched down and gave up? Yeah, that sounds really rough. But despite all of it, God still took care of him. I mean, Balaam's donkey talked to him and told him what was going on. The angel told Balaam what words to say. And as a bonus, Balaam even got to bless the people, the Israelites, three times. Yeah, and speaking of blessing, does anyone remember what blessing means? Yes, in the Bible, blessing means saying something good to someone or doing something good to someone as an act of kindness. And we too, we can bless others. We can do kind things for one another. We can say kind things to one another. Or we can even tell them about Jesus as an act of blessing. Yeah, mom and dad, can you tell us about something nice someone has said to you that blessed you? And Kid City friends, we're gonna give you a chance to add to that blessing. Can you think of something good to either say or do for your mom and dad? Yeah, and I can't wait to hear them next week. Um, but before we go, I've got a quiz question for you, Jonathan. It's the big picture question. What does it mean to sin? Oh, I know this one. To sin is to think, speak, or behave in anything that goes against God or his commands. Very good. Well, I have a question for you, Angel. Oh. These past two weeks, we've been working on a memory verse. Do you remember what it is? Um, duh. You're talking to a star student of all time here. It's Proverbs 3, 5, 6. But I wonder, can any of our Kid City listeners say it from memory now? Great job, especially if you got every single word right. But for those of you that missed a few words, no worries, we'll be asking you again next week. Oh no, it's getting late and we've got a delivery to make. 